Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you this new technique. Well, it's not new, I saw it on social media before, but it was my first time trying it, alternating money and glitter flower. What I will say is you have to be patient and don't be afraid to take things out and start over again. So I spent through this part because you've seen me tape the sticks on and you know, secure, fold the bills a million times. Um, this particular bouquet had $350 in there. I had 17 $20 bills, which gave me $340. And then two fives um, gave me my total of $350. So first I started off thinking I was gonna have like a bunch of flowers in the middle. No, it was using too many of my bills already. So I just decided to use one bill in the center and then I arrange the other ones as such. What else I found to be easier is to actually put the roses on the same sticks that I use to adhere the money to. You can glue them in there or you can just press them in there. I just press them in there, but if you need it to be more secure, I definitely would recommend using like a hot glue gun. So let me know what you think um, about this design or if you would try it. One thing, and one thing, I keep saying one thing, another thing to remember is don't worry so much about the money um, and the spacing. It doesn't have to be right on each other because when you start to add the flowers and then when you add the paper, it will put the bills closer together. Um, and so here was my first time actually using money to fold um, and make a butterfly. So you fold it in half and then you basically fold it two more times, um, well, four more times on each side to get those little folds, okay? You wanna make sure that these lines are crispy or, you know, as uh, demarcated, I guess, is the word that you would say, as possible, because you're gonna unfold it, but then you'll need these same folds to when you fold the wings down. So once I did that, you open it up and then you're just going to fold the corner down to that middle line that's across and you're going to do that on both sides. And then once you do that, you're going to fold it with those little other lines that you made. You can start from the back or you can start from the front depending on, you know, which side you want to show. Because you can also, how I folded it to the front, fold it to the back as well, if that makes sense. I may just make a video with me doing this, um, but I was basically trying to do a little spit up version. So that's the first part. And then for the bottom part of wings, you would just do it, but the shorter way so that it's shorter. So next I'll use this sticky glitter tape or rhinestone diamond tape to secure the butterflies together in the middle. Um, I've seen where people use rubber bands, uh, but I just think it adds a little razzle dazzle with this. And then as you've seen in my other videos where I use the cans from the Dollar Tree to wrap the paper around it and then you see my folds before and i just actually tape it instead of using those little pins the tape has been holding it on as long as the plastic's there and then i proceed to make my staples um i'll put another piece of paper on the bottom of this just like you know pressing it in to the bag i don't wrap it i don't do anything like that not the bag but the pail and here is the final design. Thank you so much for watching and I will have more videos uploaded shortly.